in in preparing this material is to say, look, what we're describing is the middle, and the remedy really rests in preparing the, the, the beginning and preparing the end. The beginning is to make clear to the court and ensuring that it does get on the court record, clearly on the court record. You know who you are, you know what their rules are, you know what the, the court's supposed to do, and then at the end, to use elocution uh, amongst other things to uh, show that um, you did not consent. Um, I think this is for most people who are not expert public speakers, who are not necessarily 100% confident on their feet, is probably the best way to go. That's a bit of a long-winded answer, I know, Terry, but I just that's my kind of response to. There's many, many people, you know, been speaking about this. You can stop them in their tracks because you can go down the road and go Ben Asa or Demur, or, and we've said this too. But honestly, everyone, every time someone tells me what's going on, I hear 99% of the time the court just completely ignores what people are saying and just plows right ahead. Yes. Well, and as you've talked about and discussed before, it's the process that's being fine-tuned is that allows the court a way out um, and to, to stay in honor. Mm. So you stay in honor, exactly. they stay in honor. Everybody's happy. Um, so <laughs> hopefully, and you pretty much be, be there in innocence. I mean, that you, you are, uh, like you say, it, it's very... Beginning and the end is really where the importance lies. And uh, so, with that, there is another question here that we missed earlier, and I apologize, guest ten. Uh, here's the question: Our flesh can live around 900 years or so, but doesn't due to the damage the PCBs inflict. Can this be undone via or by visualization? Well. Um question is, do you want to live 900 years in your body? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to, you know, being happy that this life <laughs> comes, comes in some time. It gets a bit tiring. Um, look, the, this, this, there are a number of mechanisms that uh, cause the body to age, um, the dying process. And the dying process, as I'm sure most people know, is the mitosis of um, cells, the replication of cells. That over time, cells effectively switch themselves off. And because they switch themselves off, once they die, there is no replacement and, of course, the body degrades. And that, that it goes for everything. It goes for mitochondria. It goes for the uh, integrity of DNA. It goes for you know, all the cells in the body. The control of replication of cells is through a thing called telomeres. Telomeres are at the... Uh, top and tail of um, chromosomes and uh, they um, play a crucial part in terms of the division of DNA and the division of DNA being the uh, essential part or division of the nucleus being the essential part of the of the process of cell division. So if the DNA does not per- per- permit itself to be redivided, it stops the cell process of redivision. So the telomeres are an essential part of that. If you want to understand what's going on, then uh, have a look under cognitive law under what is called you know, DNA and the languages of DNA. There are three languages. We call them B1C, B2C, and B3C. Uh, the only language that has so far been decoded is B1C in the use of triplicates of bases to create codons, codons then matching an an amino acid, and this is called the genetic code, the code of coding genes. Genes being less than 1% of your DNA. Of course, because genes are less than 1% of your DNA, that means that 99% of your DNA has not been properly coded. And uh, Sorry, not properly coded, I mean not been properly decoded. The language and the reason for it is not being properly decoded. So they know what the they they know the genetic material that appears to be part of the uh, uh, telomere um, uh, DNA, but they haven't deciphered that language. 
So go and have a look at that. I, I can't give you exactly what it is, but over time I'm sure we will learn how to, because uh, I know this is obsessive for science, to tinker with it. But I do hope that we avoid uh, developing the biology where effectively you know, we do live for 900 years because um, I, I think what life is all about is, is living within the, the parameters. And if we live for 150 years, great. We live for 150 years. But as uh, long as we live a quality life, so, yeah, go and have a look. There's quite a bit there on cognitive law. You'll see it there under uh, which section. Let me have a look. Under section... Uh, one sec. Uh, 3.4, solid state memory, uh, article 96, 97, uh, 98 and 99 are worth reading. Okay? All right, great. Thank you, Frank. Uh this might be another question here that we can lead into the, that we can go ahead and continue with since you were just talking about some scientific uh, information and DNA. And then we'll get back to Ron, who's in our question too. Um, is anemia possible by reprogramming or deprogramming these organ structures and brain? Uh, I missed the first part. Is, is what possible? Anedia, I'm not sure what that actually is. I N E D I A. I M E D I. I N uh, as in Nancy E D I A. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. J J C S. That question earlier. Uh, um, well. Uh, okay, breatharian. Okay, yeah, they've just said that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I've got right. uh, a, a bit of a echo. Um, look, what, what I might do is just turn off and turn back on to see if I can get this right. One sec. Okay. All right, fingers crossed, see if this works. Okay. The, the important thing of what we're discussing in terms of how the DNA works, can you hear me now? Is this working okay? Yes, very good, thank you. Good. What, what is important to understand in the description of your three brains, the fact that there are three languages in DNA those three languages match perfectly the three brains that genetic uh, def uh, anomalies when it comes to uh, genes is only a small fraction of genetic malformation that the majority of gen genetic malformation is is when the programs the DNA that encodes programming is uh, attacked and that causes programs, which is intelligence, which is knowledge to malfunction. The only way the body can reprogram a program is through programming. That is through conscious thought, through the conscious focus of what is the remedy and allowing the body through active visualization and through knowledge of what's going on in the body to change that. This is why when you get into genetic defects and of course what medicine loves you to focus on they want you to focus on when they say that cancer for example is because of genetic defects less than one percent of your DNA codes genes and the only way that genetic defects can effectively cause uh, malformations is through normally through the hereditary system and hereditary system means you need to have two copies in most cases of the same uh, abnormality for it to come through. The reality is that the vast majority of genetic error is in the programs on how the cells do what they do. 
And again, medicine does not want you to know this. It doesn't want you to know it. Why? Because you actually have the ability to reprogram it. But remember, the cogno mind, your conscious mind, is dealing with a completely different language relationship to DNA, to your cyto mind. Your cyto mind, your intestine, is the brain that deals with the conscious connection with the simplest programming. So, and your orgo mind is the mind that deals with the programming um, of uh, of uh, two codons, so six bases. So it depends where the abnormalities are. If you're dealing with cells, for example, that won't turn themselves off, which is um, a feature that they uh, identify with, uh, they call broadly cancer. There's only two. There's only two reasons that uh, cells that are in a, a toxic form are undergoing replication. Either it is a pathogen, and it is a fungus, or it is a genetic abnormality where the programming of the cells is not uh, conforming properly. So it's one or the other. If it's a fungus then the body needs to um, realign itself. It needs to uh, rebalance from an acidic to an alkaline. It needs to be clean. Uh, your brain needs to, to stop producing toxins, which the fungus is eating and feeding on, and you need to clear the lymphatic system and you need to basically go into a, a, a rapid cleanse. And that's what you need to do if it's a fungus. If it is a programming error, then the body has to do exactly the same kind of treatment but it needs to know exactly how to focus consciously. And for that to occur, you need to know what the hell your mind is. And again, they don't want you to know. So, um, yes, you can you reprogram? Absolutely, you can reprogram. But you've got to know what you're reprogramming, why, and you've got to know how to, to focus. This is the problem I find in the vast majority of, of uh, help groups and focus groups and meditation groups is that they are getting you to focus and meditate on exactly the wrong things. And if you focus on the wrong things, then guess what? It has absolutely no effect. Amazing, Frank. Thank you. That was, uh, that was a pretty amazing discussion there. Thank you very much. All right, let's get back to Ron here on the phone. Ron, can you hear us? Hi, Frank. Hey, Ron. Hey, in, in response to uh, V, he was uh, basically kind of outlining a standard pleading procedure. But the way I attack this uh, particular notice is from the court of record, our court of record, and our will, and the lack of our consent to their court. There's absolutely no statutory language in it. There's no code. There's no rules, no regulations, nothing that they can hang their hat on. Well, so you I, actually I, right. I, huh? So I just, you just hit on a point that I think is worth raising. Sorry, that's why I interrupted it. That's Ron, okay. One thing that, that, that I think is, is absolutely vital for people to realize, when you are playing their game, and that's what they want you to play, their game. They want you to play with statute. The problem with statute is that they've written the statutes that if you are arguing statute, you're already guilty. Yep. What they don't ever want you to argue is principle of law, foundation of law. Because if you're arguing principle of law or foundation of law or just the foundation of argument, then nothing that they're doing ultimately can stand. So this is, again, one of the, the biggest differences of what we're doing here. If you think of the canons, and people said to me, well, where's the statute? Where's your references? Where's the case law? You cannot win in the guilds in case law. You'd agree, Ron? I would absolutely agree. You cannot win because the system is stacked against you. It's designed that you cannot win. So, yeah, keep going. Sorry. Was, well, uh, Ron, yes, I that also in the pleading, um, once you're to that point, you've agreed with their conviction, with their ruling. 
So that would be. Well, that's true. If you use, you agree to it. 